Hi, my name is Leanne and I'm the owner and operator of LV Aesthetic. It is a practice focusing on brow micropigmentation and anti-aging in Oakland within Studio Noir and I'm also a paramedical esthetician at Marin Medical Aesthetics. I've decided to start this video series to educate people on the Obaji Nudum system, which I'm going to try today. Um, actually, I'm going to be trying this every day, morning and night for the next 24 weeks to mainly deal with my pigmentation problems, which are fairly severe. I don't know if you can tell in this light, but it took everything in me not to film this with a filter because I realized then that would be pointless. But anyway, I just woke up. This is what I actually look like. I'm not happy about it. Um, I have a lot of um, swelling because my diet is extremely poor right now. So, I mean, there's a lot of things to work on when it comes to my skin. I had um, a rude awakening when I did a Vizia skin analysis at Marin Medical Aesthetics yesterday. I always thought that I do a lot to take care of my skin in terms of home care and treatments. I have a good knowledge of cosmetic ingredients and I felt for the most part I'd like do the best I can. But you know what? In reality, I really wasn't. And I was getting lazy and there would be certain times where I would even sleep in my makeup or my sunblock, you know, during the holidays and I am reaping what I sowed. So looking at this system right now, also, this is my first video ever, so it's videography wise, it's gonna suck, but this is gonna have some good content, so just try to hold on. So this is the Obaji New Derm system. It starts with a cleanser, toner, and then we have our active products, um, a moisturizer, and a sunscreen. So this looks like it's a ton of steps because honestly it is, but this really works. If if you struggle with pigmentation, you know how hard it is to work on it and it's a everyday battle, like everyday battle. You need to be on it. You need to be using your melanogenesis inhibitors. You need to be using your sunscreen. If you're not using sunscreen, there's no point in even trying to treat your hyperpigmentation. Um, facts. So looking at this, this is... This is a few more steps than I'm used to doing right now. However, the first steps are a cleanser and toner, which is something that I do anyway, and you all should be doing anyway. And the last step is sunscreen. So, and then the step before that is moisturizer. So really, it's three actives. I usually use maybe two in the morning, two at night in my regular skincare routine. Um, there's actually directions on here, AM, PM, AM, PM, AM, PM. This one's just uh, AM, this one's just PM. Um, to make it a little bit easier, you can also register on this website, which I'm going to do, that kind of just um, tells you what kind of side effects you should be experiencing through this process because there is gonna be reaction. This is a medical grade home care for pigmentation to be used alongside of laser treatments and by itself. Um, I've had, I've heard of really, really good uh, results with this. I've seen them with my own eyes and um, our Obaji rep was generous enough to give this to me to start. So back to the skin analysis, the Vizia skin analysis is a really in-depth electronic um, skin analysis that measures your oil levels in terms of how much bacteria, how much propionic bacteria is on the skin, pore size and texture, um, age, fine lines, wrinkles, um, pigmentation, both red and brown. And it <sighs> compares you to other people um, in your age group and you see a chart and everything. And um, it was my first time doing it yesterday and it was just a very rude awakening. Um, it also had a fun little feature that kind of shows you yourself aged, accelerated. Um, that was so disturbing. I'm, yeah, so I'm ready to like kind of start taking better care of my skin, not just externally, but internally as well. Um, I have some really bad habits, especially for an esthetician. And those of you who know me really well might know what some of those are. So even though I don't drink, I consume a crap ton of sugar and you can tell you can tell you can just tell so sugar breaks down collagen and elastin um, and causes glycation um re this causes wrinkles and i know this and i have like a serious problem with it 
So that's something I need to work on as well as water intake, which we hear all the time. And just generally um, consuming more nutrients from real food, which is something that I've been struggling with, especially since I've been so busy lately. And let's face it, it's something I struggle with regardless. So in addition to that, I also sometimes smoke. In addition to that, I also love tanning. However, I don't tan on my face, neck, or chest, but it doesn't matter because I'm still getting sun exposure. Um, even when I wear sunscreen, being out in the sun is still causing this, but most of the pigmentation that you see um, and all the pigment lying underneath that hasn't surfaced yet, that is the real problem. Um, most of that was done before I started taking care of my skin and probably occurred like in childhood and in my early 20s because I have been wearing sunscreen, you know, since beauty school on my face, neck and chest and tattoos. Um, so that's been like, what, 11 years? So even though I've taken care in that respect, like damage has already been done. I also have texture issues. Um, I do get, um, Botox and that helps smooth this out but as you can see like there's still like a texture problem here that contributes to me looking older so um the Vizia skin analysis actually told me I look 36 <laughs> but I'm 33 but I want to look 26 so do you see where the disconnect is okay so anyways, I think that it's time that I stop disillusioning myself about my bad habits and laughing about them and actually get down to business and treat this stuff. Like, look at this edema. Like, look at, like, look. Like, I just look like I just, like, ate a family-sized bag of Lay's last night and went straight to sleep. I mean, I didn't. <laughs> Maybe I did, you know. But, um... At any rate, you can follow this uh, video journey um, to see my experience with this system. I am going to make a video at a later time showing how to use the system morning and night. And this is the only skincare that I'm going to use um, for the next 24 weeks to measure my results. And then I'm going to go ahead and probably switch to something else to show you guys um, some treatments for volume loss and elasticity. Um, so I was on a microneedling protocol and I am not going to be anymore when I start this system because, um, it's a lot and I'm not going to be able to use this post procedure, like immediately post. So because I want to see the results, the best thing is consistency with any skincare routine, just like a diet is consistency. The skincare can't work unless you use it. And much like diet and exercise, um, getting treatments is about 20% of your success and 80% of your success is home care um, and being consistent with that. And the two combined are when you see these really fabulous results. And um, obviously results do are dependent on the person, but this stuff is pretty tried and true if you're a candidate, which uh, most people with pigment issues are. This also helps with melasma, which is incredibly hard to treat. Um, those who suffer from melasma know. Um, I actually used to have some melasma too, and I don't even know, but through the year, I feel like it cleared, I had some melasma below my lip, and I feel like it's cleared up a little bit. And when I did the Vizia, I couldn't really see like more pigment there than everywhere else. But to be honest, like this should put me in a mood. Like I cried. Um, <laughs> like, but at any rate, um, you get five seconds to like cry about it and then you gotta do something about it, right? So um, just stay tuned for more videos that hopefully increase in quality and hopefully my face increases in quality. <laughs> I don't wanna live like this, guys. All right, thanks for listening. See you soon.